I saw these headlines about how Kevin McCarthy's launching his bid for Speaker of the House. The House Freedom Caucus says, yeah, 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 not so fast. Not so fast. Yeah, House Freedom Caucus. Mm. Jim Jordan said that he, he he's supportive of McCarthy. He We talked to him yesterday. He said he's supportive of McCarthy. And then you have Steve Scalise, who's apparently launching a bid as well. And I think that, I mean, I think that McCarthy, they, he's got to fight for it because he was not handed a mandate. He really was not handed a mandate. So this is stuff that they got to fit. They got to get all figured out and all this. It, it, it's just, it's man. But the, I also feel like it's a little, I, I want to hear before we sit here and, and start, you know, rotating the chips on the board. I kind of want to really see what is, what, what, what do they have? What are their plans? What are their, what are they going to do? What are they, what are they going to do here? What, how are they going to talk to all this? How are you going to, how are you going to handle, how are you going to handle split ticket? Hmm? How are you going to do that? Jeez. I'm just, I'm frustrated because I feel like, and, and everybody talking about 2024, I feel like it's a little early. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, Republicans were handed an advantage that they squandered, and now everybody's going to sit here and try to cast lots for 2024? Seriously? I also kind of feel like, a, I, I wrote this last night, a Trump versus DeSantis brawl is going to make us feel like kids watching our divorced parents fight. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. It's making me depressed. I, my mom and dad get along. Yeah.